So six Democrats versus one secret Republican. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be good at sniffing out the secret Republican because all you have to do to determine who is the Republican is you talk about Black Lives Matter, you bring out a trans flag, and they're going to out themselves. They'll immediately just start like foaming at the mouth, right? They'll start trembling in anger and they'll have to say something. They'll have to condemn it. They can't let that go uh, unchecked. They've got to make some dumbass comment. So all you have to do is say some sort of a buzzword that'll trigger them and they'll be quivering in anger, right? Their voice will start trembling because they won't be able to hold back their rage. That's how you can tell who the secret Republican is. So uh, l let's see. Let's see if I can uh, guess who the secret Republican is by just looking at them. We brought together seven Democrats. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. Okay, I know who the Republican is. Right off the bat, I can tell you. Let me go back. Uh, this is the Republican right here. I'm calling it right now. Uh, this is a log cabin Republican. His name in actuality is probably Braden. And he is more of a center-right Republican who reluctantly voted for Donald Trump. He doesn't like all of the bombast that Trump brings to politics, but he does like that Trump was fiscally conservative and deregulated, and he's more of a hawk, so he did like that Trump was more militaristic than he expected. Uh, this is my uh, this is my guess so far. And I haven't pre-watched this, so if I happen to be wrong, uh, I'm still right because he's lying, so it's non-falsifiable. I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd man out? When did like everybody become a Democrat? From birth. <laughs> like the, already, this is so cringeworthy. This makes me want to die. Is that normal to watch these Jubilee videos and just immediately feel like the sense of overwhelming dread? When did everybody become a Democrat? Holy fuck. I mean, for me, my story is, well, you know, I got into politics in 2008 because of Obama. I kind of become a team, became a team blue warrior. But then I got really disillusioned with the Democratic Party when Obama, you know, didn't live up to expectations. And then in 2016, there was all the bullshit uh, where they tried to sink Bernie Sanders campaign and successfully did, you could argue. Um, so it, it's weird. Like, these are very standard uh, Lib Dems. Uh, we're not, I don't think, dealing with any socialists. We'll see. You could really, you, you can look to the buzzwords and really pinpoint who's telling the truth and who isn't. Who's actually like a true Kool-Aid drinking Democrat. Um, honestly, when I went to school, I grew up in a really small town in Nebraska. It was very white. We had Fox News on TV You're all the time. You're not helping your case. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not helping. I know my mom. Brandon kind of was coming after me. It was just saying stuff like, that's a bad move for bringing up like that I'm from Nebraska and that I grew up with. I'm a conservative family, so I thought maybe, you know, him coming off that strongly that he could have been the mole. That's true. I mean, if I am the mole on the panel, I am going to want to overcorrect. Like for me, if I'm like the one socialist on a panel with a bunch of conservatives, immediately, like I'm throwing out all the buzzwords. Hey, did you all hear about Antifa and the critical race theorists who are now pushing Marxism? in kindergarten classrooms like this is insane right and they'd all just immediately like i have a message for antifa terrorists stay the hell out of northwest georgia you won't burn our churches loot our businesses or destroy our homes i, I would love to be on one of these but i don't want to like i don't want to travel to be on the panel so this will never happen diversity which um, does not help okay yeah. <laughs> um, i come from a conservative family yeah, went to college I, and was like where did you go to college uh, usc Oh, Democratic oh. family over here. <laughs> I think I was targeting Nick a little bit. Base, she no knows. She knows what's up. Conservative school. This is kind of like a modern day survivor, is it not? First of all, I'm black. I think the Democratic Party aligns with the interests of black people. The Republican Party really doesn't offer. Okay, for him to say that is incredibly sus. 
incredibly sus because there's a lot of black conservatives like Candace Owens who kind of like make the whole totality of their political identity, the fact that they are a black conservative and they bring it up a lot. So this is a very conservative thing to do. Um, this this is sus as fuck. I might walk back my initial prediction because him saying this has a lot of red flags going off. If he genuinely is saying this, I'm a Democrat and, you know, I'm black. I think that their values align with me. Um, I, I just it's hard to see it. It's It's hard to see it. Anything. Medicare is a big thing for me. My father passed away right before I was born, didn't have health insurance, and so when he got sick and got kicked. That's really sus because he said Medicare, not Medicare for all. Immediately, like if you're talking about health care, you'd be a little bit more specific, right? It's not like Republicans are against Medicare in general. I mean, they wanted to fund Medicare, but you would say something like Medicare for all. So this could also be uh, him being a Republican, not necessarily knowing the correct language of what he thinks Democrats are advocating for. Cancer, it just happened so late. I don't want that to happen to anybody else's parents. The most important uh, issue for me is the environment. I think Trump pulling out of the Paris Agreement was horrible. Okay, he's further, further convincing me that he's the Republican. I think the U.S. should lead this global initiative towards renewable energy. Like you cry. <laughs> okay, this tells me with that guy that um, he did a little bit of research beforehand because he was going to be LARPing as a liberal. So he like looked at one of the Vox articles, the top 25 worst things or BuzzFeed articles, the top 25 worst things that Trump did in his first two years. And like he brought up this, right, because he's young. He's like, OK, so if I am going to cosplay as a lib, I'm going to want to bring up the environment and I'm going to want to cite the Paris Climate Agreement. I mean, I I'm convinced at this point, even if uh, he comes out as a liberal, he's still a conservative secretly. Agreement was horrible i think the u.s should lead this global initiative towards renewable energy like you cry <laughs> like trying to get it together why are you right crying now? because of that that's weird <laughs> wait why would why was she <laughs> why was she crying because of that was was that speech about trump withdrawing from the paris climate agreement like that captivating to her i don't get it Thank you. <laughs> if the election was today, who would you vote for? Mm -hmm. Andrew Yang. Why? I think his, like, the Freedom Dividend with $1,000 a month helps, like, the far majority of people in America. Like, I don't mean to interrupt, but He's also, being honest. I don't feel like Andrew Yang really um, emphasizes the points that you first brought up about health care. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, Elizabeth That's Warren and Bernie Sanders. But he, yeah. is, he is for Medicare for all, though. Okay, true, but like... No, he's not. No, he's not. He's backed away. This is someone who is definitely a liberal, and she's more of a progressive, right? She lumped Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren together, so this tells me she's more of a progressive Democrat, and she is correct. But this guy is also um, a genuine Andrew Yang supporter because they tend to agree, or they tend to believe falsely so, that he supports Medicare for All, which is incorrect because he does not. Yeah, she's definitely a liberal. This individual is definitely an Andrew Yang supporter. He... He's not necessarily a centrist, but his identity is basically anti-establishment. And anyone who is left of center, who's also simultaneously anti-establishment, that's always going to be his cup of tea. Like other oh, politicians, correct. especially who have like... Would be more. The I, I'm planning to vote for Elizabeth for the Warren. Primary. What are you nope, nope, machine? nope. That motherfucker is a Republican. Republican to the max. He might even be a fascist. This might actually be a fascist. Like, he is far right. He's not just a Republican. Like, this is a far right individual. Every single thing he says is so sus, and it just raises more red flags. Like, he's saying precisely what he thinks uh, the liberals would want to hear, right? I'm planning to vote for Elizabeth for Warren. What are your views on abortion? Pro choice. Easy. Nope. There is no fucking way this isn't a Republican. No fucking way. I'm so convinced at this point that this guy is a Republican that nothing can change my mind. Nothing can change my mind. Nope. Told you. Are you lying? <laughs> Blake was inconsistent with what policies were really most important to him. I think a really important question is what values 
really make you a Democrat. Too. Why don't you start out with your own question? Sure. <laughs> uh, I am Iranian American. Sorry, I didn't oh. get that. Iranian. I'm Iranian American. Oh, okay, yeah. And your parents are immigrants. Yeah, my parents are immigrants. When Sarah started asking questions, so I kind kind of cut her off, and I don't know. That seemed kind of like a very aggressive way to come at it. Women's rights. <laughs> what? The roses. This could also be like a virtue signally thing where it's like, hey, folks, I'm a socialist. But she could also just be genuine. Like, I kind of feel like this is this is probably a Democrat. But, you know, this could be this could be genuine. This could also be like, I mean, for her to say my parents are immigrants, that's also something that Republicans might say to kind of like throw people off of the scent. Well, I can't be racist. I don't hate immigrants. My parents are immigrants. But still, I mean, the other dude, I think his name was Nick. I'm so convinced he's a Republican. As well as like environmental rights. I'm a huge Bernie Sanders supporter. Um, okay. What ways do you support the woman? She's 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 the real deal. Rights well, like abortion, Planned Parenthood. I'm half black, half Mexican, and my mom was actually brought here as a baby from my abuelita and abuelito from TJ, and then my dad's obviously black. And so, <laughs> kind of like the same thing as black people are Democrats. Yeah. I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> so That's like. Nice. 150% pro-choice. I think Jasmine was protected by Brandon, which is completely valid because people of color should protect people of color. But I just felt like I didn't want to come in and be a little bit of a bully and try to get to the root of the question. But I would say like I'm a baby Democrat because I grew up, I grew up Christian. My main thing is abortion, healthcare. Again, baby Democrat, I like just got into it. So Thank you. Oh, <laughs> it's a Guns N' Roses shirt. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, okay. So, totally irrelevant. Um, I feel like she's being honest. Both of my parents are immigrants. My mom was born in Grenada. My dad was born in Paris, France. Um, and then mm -hmm. I'm currently in school. I'm a political science major, pre-law concentration. Then minors in ethnic studies. Don't think a Republican would take that first. <laughs> Anthropology and geography. You didn't laugh, Nick. You didn't laugh. Yep. He's on to Nick too. Though even the way that Nick stands, like his body language, is very Republican-y to me. And I think that Republicans who are in the chat, if any are lurking, would probably agree with that. Even his clothing choice is very Republican. Um, but he, he thinks, he's like, I'll dress up as like some sort of like a hippie, kind of like a grunge liberal, and they'll they'll never fucking know. This, this dude is like 2,000% Republican. I'm smiling. I love your story. I was a theater major, you guys. How many Republicans are theater majors? I would say my biggest values is I'm a staunch feminist. Like, I'm absolutely pro-choice, and I believe in women's autonomy over their bodies. Obviously, women's rights is huge to me. I gotta say also about Nick, he thinks that him being gay is going to make people um, not suspect, suspect him as much, but he's totally like a Reuben Republican, for sure. There needs to be autonomy. Um, gun control, also extremely important. The big thing that made me a Democrat was knowing in high school that I was gay and I was raised in the military in the era of don't ask, don't tell. Mm -hmm. Carried a lot Again, of he's citing something very specific, wants to make it seem as if he's really informed, that's why he became a Democrat, but he just did his research to his credit beforehand. But being gay um, alone isn't going to like drive you towards being a Democrat um, I mean, it should in theory, right? But not everyone is going to automatically think I'm gay, therefore I am a Democrat. Like you begin to realize slowly but surely that, you know, the Democratic Party, even if they don't necessarily fight as hard as, as they should for LGBTQ plus rights, you know, they're, they're not actively fighting against you as Republicans are. How old are you real quick? 30. Oh, dang. Oh, you're in your point. Yeah, so. You look so young. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just made me sound Oh, dang. Wow, that went really fast. I think we all were just really open with each other. Nope, you're all wrong. It's not Sarah. Oh, I guess they're not going to reveal it to the end. All the other women in the box had very like concrete examples to back up why they were a feminist and why they were pro-choice. It really sucked that I had to like vote Sarah out, but in my head, her answer was a little less supported. I'm gonna start off somewhere really weird, but it's just based off a study I read. If you guys were to see a severed hand floating in a glass bottle, how disgusted would you be? A severed hand in a glass bottle? Severed hand in a glass bottle. <laughs> Your face. How disgusted That's would you be? That's an intense question. I would... How disgusted would you be? I would probably be pretty disgusted, I okay. would say. 
I would probably throw up. Blood really freaks me out. Okay. <laughs> is, is, is it bloody and stuff? Yeah. I don't, like, that's a however your me. mind goes with it, how disgusted do you think? How I, I can't even imagine it, so like I'm not. Okay, this, this woman, she just came out of Psych 101. And she probably read some like obscure study about how you can you can like deduce certain things about a person's personality and um based on like their reaction to gore um and now she thinks that she's like going to start majoring in uh, psychology maybe next semester and she really wants to be a psychologist so she's looking at body language she's trying to see the way that people react to violent imagery but really this is all a non sequitur and it's not going to help her get closer to the truth unfortunately for her i'm not going to say super disgusting but obviously wouldn't just have it on my mantle my gut reaction isn't gross it's more like why comical and confused <laughs> like yeah. I would like to know more information. <laughs> okay. Wait, why, wait, wait, why? Yeah, what's yeah, the what's deal? The, what's the okay. Essentially, a study in 2014 said that, like, based on, like, brains of Democrats versus Republicans. Republicans I told you she read some obscure study. <laughs> likely to have, like, a gut reaction of something being more disgusting. At, at the same time, though. It's based on thought processing. Yeah. That's interesting but, because you two, like, I, you're a baby Democrat yeah. and then you were. Uh, like, Somebody who even thinks about that thinks that deeply about these things is definitely not a Republican. Like, um, she's 100% Democrat. She's probably a corporate Democrat, if I had to guess. Like, she isn't necessarily, like, in any one Democrat's camp, but the minute the primaries are over, she's, like, barking at everyone to fall in line. Um, she doesn't care who wins. Any old blue will do for her. She's definitely um, a very huge Democratic Party supporter. Mr. Uh -huh. conservative before. Yeah. Both yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, tell me about the shape of your skull. <laughs> uh. Question was really interesting. And what's so funny is I answered differently than what I was thinking in my head because I was thinking that if I saw a jar with a hand, I would be like, oh, there's a jar with it. It wouldn't really bother me. But I answered that it would because I thought that would be the answer they were looking for. And it turns out it totally was wrong to do that. So you're admitting that you're like trying to give an answer that you think they want to hear. I mean, further proof that this individual is a Republican, not just a Republican. But again, I believe this pro this is probably a fascist. If we we can just Google um, any of these like Proud Boy marches and I bet you're going to see this motherfucker there. This this is how convinced I am. <laughs> Oops. Who are your top like two candidates? What are the issues that like you most resonate with with their platform? I'm a big Warren person because he's going to cite a specific policy. She's run her campaign mm -hmm. that it seems for the most so part. for the most Except part for the Native American. Exactly, that is mm -hmm. oh my gosh. But she seems like she's really out to meet people. Per I really like the way that she proposed her her Medicare for all policy, where after two years. She'll introduce a public option, and then in the third year of her presidency, she will then bring up legislation for Medicare for all. And then he, like, checks his hand to see. Personally, and she spends hours waiting to take selfies, and she calls people personally, and she's only taking money from regular citizens, not big, huge donors, and I appreciate that so much. I felt like Nick didn't come across as passionate. His answers I agree. just seemed a little premeditated. And if you're going to cite all of these things like the the big donors and stuff why wouldn't you support bernie sanders again like the dude is a fraud even if he even if at the end of this he says i'm a democrat i still hate him there's no way nick's coming out of this with clean hands folks i've already demonized him and we're gonna you know we're gonna work backwards from the conclusion that nick is indeed bad and i felt like they were just kind of run off without emotion behind them I really yeah, like excited. Warren, but I lean a little bit more towards Sanders because I was a sociology major. Based. And so... Sociology? No, no, okay. no I like it. <laughs> I'm a people person, and in order for everybody to succeed, we all need to build each other up, yeah. not tear each other down. Okay, this vapidness as to why she supports Bernie Sanders absolutely makes it clear that she's, she's a Democrat. Look, it's good that she supports Bernie Sanders. That's based as hell. But a lot of people who are Democrats, they just... They sometimes they think, well, look, I want to be a good person. I want to help people. And the Democrats want to help people. And I can see very easily that the Republican Party is full of stupid people and insane people. 
Um, therefore, I am a Democrat. So they might not necessarily have any specific policy prescriptions that they can speak to, but they will just say something kind of vague like this. This is how libs in my life, in my life, who I know personally speak as well. And so Bernie, he's what very... What policies of Bernie? Right? Well, this per okay, this person, she's on, she's on to them. She has the same instincts that I have, which means she has good instincts. His Don't racial justice that. is like a big thing for me. Okay, that's more. You need more than that. Immigration and then obviously like universal health care. And I'm not yeah. going to lie, a lot of the stuff I get is from like black Twitter, so. <laughs> which is like totally a valid which sort. Okay, yeah, so she's a Democrat. She's a Democrat. I'm gonna check I feel that. Like we're all Democrats. I mean, you could say that about anyone. Like, hey, what do you like about Ted Cruz's policy? I really like his stance on immigration. Oh, wow. That's, I agree. That's so profound. Like, I, I too agree with that. Fill in the blank. Immigration policy. Yeah, uh, being able to articulate that the Republicans are bad, but not being able to give any reason why Democrats are good is the perfectly reasonable state to be in. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, a lot of Democrats. Um, just in real life, right? We're talking about the normies, the IRL people. They know that Republicans are bad because they're basically to this point where they're frothing at the mouth, shitting themselves in public. But, you know, they just think, okay, Democrats by default must be good because the Republicans are so bad. So they can't necessarily speak to the specifics, though. That's I think a lot of Democrats are just by default Democrats because of that, because Republicans are so fucking crazy. Yeah, Me too. Oh. You heard him, you're like, yes. <laughs> now it's I over. Target on my back that entire game. I think age might have been a factor. I think that the the four that were left seemed to really be connecting as younger people. Raise your hand if you think that the more is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. All right. If the lights turn red, the more is still in the box. The lights turn green. It's the moment of truth, folks. What? It's you, isn't it? Oh my god. Wait, so hang on. So the mole is still in the box, it's not Nick? This is this is bullshit. Nope. I knew it. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, okay. Um that was, you know what? That was a good acting job from her. Um, she was very vague. She couldn't speak to any of the specifics. But um, I will say, I still don't think that I'm committed to this idea that Nick is definitely a fascist. I'm your, you're lucky you're black. You're lucky you're black. You're lucky you're black. <laughs> I was the most suspicious of the actual mole. I didn't believe Jasmine at all when she said she's a baby Democrat. That's an excuse for being, okay, I'm a Republican, I'm coming up to the show, and I'm going to pretend to be a Democrat, so let me say that I'm a new one, and then that way people will go easier on me. When Brandon said that his first reasoning for being a Democrat was because he's black, the way that I was thinking and coming at it was he would never assume that another black person would be a Republican, let alone want to be. I would like to hear her reasoning as to why she's a Republican. And she'd probably like say the same thing as to why she was LARPing as a Democrat. Well, I like their stances on, you know, social justice and immigration or the same shit. Very friendly with him and joke around. I had my suspicions. I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the mole. But in my head, I was like, I hope it's not Jasmine who's the mole. It comes down to identities as a black person. For better, for worse, I think black people should stick together. It was just in here? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I feel bad. But like... I gotta pay off my student loan. Okay, my head is gonna explode. First of all, you shouldn't feel bad. You're a Republican. This is capitalism, right? You just won. You you bested everyone, so you're the capitalist, right? And you have student loans, but yet you support the party that overwhelmingly wants you to fuck off over your student loans. Um, no, look, this is a Democrat, and Nick is the Republican. This whole show is fucking bullshit. If I if I search YouTube right now for Nick, I bet there's going to be a, a YouTube channel with like 10,000 subs and he's talking about how feminism is cancer. Like you could probably find this from him. I guarantee it. This dude is a Republican. I swear to God. He's not even Sorry, gay. Guys, but not really. The stereotype of Republicans is we're not white. We can be mixed race. We can be of someone. The stereotype of Republicans is that they're stupid. 
one that comes from an immigrant household like I did. I'm very pro-wall. Mike was wrong, no. Very pro-Trump. I do believe that immigrants have the right to vote, but legal immigrants. You said you're pro-choice. Is that true? No, I am not pro-choice. I am pro-life. I used to think that Democrats, a lot of them, don't really care about what's going on like politically. They only care about what's on like media. I really like seeing that a lot of them had their reasoning for being a Democrat followed with their- I'm sorry, folks. Is it just me or is she more convincing as a Democrat than she is as a fucking Republican? Like she doesn't believe in anything. I don't, I don't believe this. Morals are followed with their beliefs. Most stereotypes about what political party Republican are not true. We have an idea in this country of what mm. each party is and you know, what your interests are if you're a Democrat or a Republican or what you look like. And it, it's unfortunate because no matter who you are, you could, I guess, fall into either category. Okay, across the board, we could be friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I would be taking the money and I would steal it because I'm not going to let the uh, Republican mole win. I'm stealing the money because they think that we steal. So I'm going to live up to that stereotype. The left just wants to take your money. I'm going to prove it. I Okay, folks, again, I refuse to admit that I'm wrong here. This is a Republican, okay? Here's, here's a caveat, okay? Here's a caveat. If it's the case that while this was recorded in May of 2020, and if he was genuinely a Democrat back then, by now, he's a full-on neo-fascist. <laughs> There's no way. I'm sorry. So many red flags, his demeanor, his body language. This dude is a Republican. This dude is a fucking neo-fascist Republican. And... Nobody's going to convince me otherwise, okay? Yeah, it, it right? Everybody else sees it too in the chat. Everybody else sees it. Okay. <laughs> when it says Nick is just the I'm still with her Hillary supporter. <laughs> I think that... The likelihood of him being a Hillary supporter is very low. I'm sorry, but the things that he said about, like, Elizabeth Warren and stuff, it's just, I don't buy it. This dude is a log cabin Republican, and he is highly likely. Like, I'm going to say, yeah, the Republican haircut. I'm going to say there's, like, a, a 75 to 80% chance that he is just a full-blown Nazi. Flashback. Uh, this is the Republican right here. I'm calling it right now. Oops. <laughs>